A lot of <laughs> weird moments that like happened there, but was able to clutch it out. Let's see if we can play another uh, Peach. If I recall correctly, back in the uh, the olden days of you know the rage and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, he was actually pretty good in this matchup. Like he was actually yeah. like I think he had actually like a good record for Doris. I wouldn't be shocked. This is another matchup where uh, again, even even back in four, right when yeah. when it was shifted, where Peach was still a much better character and Roy was kind of like mid, yeah. right. Even in that game, this was a fine matchup for Roy because her her floatiness, being a tall, floaty character, was perfect combo weight for her in that game. Mm -hmm. And in this game, it's still a pretty similar situation where A, she kind of likes to jump a lot yeah. and sets up situations where you're able to just run in with Nair and get stuff going. Um, but also, once you get a hit, you can carry it really far with Roy. Yeah, and Roy, like, yeah, you can carry it really far with Roy because he's such a better combo character at this point. Like. Mm -hmm. I cannot say enough. Rory's my favorite show. Like, uh, the, the, <laughs> my favorite show. Because uh, he's got that Ken quarter carry. Uh, the, 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 the thing that makes me so upset about it, the reason why I always say that is the fact that he can kill you off a jab. I'm like, I, I was like, <laughs> he's got true. safe down tilts too. Like, true. Oh, he's my favorite show though. I can't say enough about him. Just give him a, give him a projectile. Yeah. Give no. A tatsu. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Slide B's already better than Tatsu. I'm going to just put that out so there right true. now. Oh, he's oh, dead. He jump, dude. Yeah. yeah, he jumped into that. He had dropped a bunch of jumped into that. Wow. I, it, this has got to kind of a little bit suck for Spark, too. Uh, just because Orange just fresh off of watching that match happen. And it was like, yeah. oh, you got away with this, you got away with that, you like to do this and whatnot. I mean, like, you kind of got your whole game watched before this uh, the set even happened. Yeah. Versus the character that Orange plays on the list. Right, exactly. So he's got all of the data immediately going into game one, and Spark's starting from zero, essentially. Yeah. Ooh, oh, unfortunately. Nobody, I, I don't expect people to be ready to DI away from Roy Jab in those kind of situations. And that's probably why Spark went for just neutral jump into the Nair. But uh, Oryx's DI is just always on point. Always immaculate. Oh, oh he's dead. yeah. Oh, oh never mind. You, it, like, like I said, so his DI is always on point. Um, I, I didn't think DI would be able to save him there. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be quite honest with you. Uh, uh, before quarantine, I called Austin's like, DI. That was cheater DI. I think Org somehow hacked the system and got that DI, DI away from him, man. Yeah, stole it. Okay. Uh, if you see a Peach floating, that is absolutely the answer there. Is you go for that getup attack. You have the full invincibility. Do not let them disrespect you. <laughs> and go for the getup attack. It's just like charging a smash attack, you know? Yeah. Orcs is waiting for him. He wants to go over to He is super wanting for him. He's like, please swing at me. I know you want to swing at me. I would I would swing at me. Right. See, I'm frothing at the mouth to swing at me. Oh, oh my, my god. god. How? Why? Who are you? I, so that's Orex. He's pretty good at this game. He's uh, um, got down. No rage on Spark meant that was not going to kill with the up throw. And now Orex is still living. Not going to kill this time. He's got the DI. He understands that there's no mix up there. How was he not getting that was weak forward air. That was like five inches back to back of him getting the weak everything. Yeah. That's the, you know what that tells me? That Orcs is basic is actually kinda got like so goaded. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous. And there, look, you see Spark doing that dash dance that he likes to do, where he thinks he's gonna make you hit a button, and Oryx says, Well if you're dashing, you're not able to shield, so I'm just gonna dash in. Yeah. Throw a hitbox out. And Oryx has got to be like one of the conf most confident dash attackers outside of like Tispy, to be honest with you. Yeah. And Tispy risks it all, man. Definitely top two in TFW <laughs> for those dash attacks. I hate Tispy dash attacks. I'm like, bro, you're such a like, you're bro, such like, a chat. But you hit him every time. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh okay, yeah. I thought that was the smartest. I thought that was really smart drift, and I was like, wait, he's dead. He's actually I dead. Yes. He's actually dead. Like if he connected, absolutely smart, oh, smartest drift. drift of the land, but just barely didn't have the range for it. Calling the best player last set. Now he's like, he's kind of good. He's not the best player right now, but <laughs> he still has a chance to prove me wrong. Or uh, thinking about it, kind of rubbing the chin a little bit. And man, I always look like a killer with that hat. Man. I don't appreciate it. That, you know, I I super dig it. It's very minimalist, but he is uh, he does look sharp. He does look sharp. I get the man. shirt too. I can't tell if that's Ghastly. That's Ghastly Hunter Gang. That what is, is this monstrosity shirt. on my TV oh, right now? Oh yeah. So this is Sparks' uh, secondary me brawler. Um, he plays. He plays all of the Miis except for Swordfighter because Swordfighter is, in his words, garbage. Ah. Uh, trash character. So, uh, but he, this is a real character. It's not like a joke. He actually just plays this character. Um, and this character, like you said, is an abomination. There's a lot wrong with this character. Um, uh, if we and, and by see. that, I mean, like, this character's kind of good oh, yeah. at a lot of things. Uh, we can see Falling Up Air connected to Forward Smash, and Oryx could just die. 
Yeah, I mean, he's actually just outplaying Orange a lot in the neutral, actually. I guess since he lost a lot of his, like, oh! What do you do against this move? I've, I've asked him, I've asked him myself, playing against Sparks me Brawler, what do you do against this move? And he's like, well, you know, as long as I'm doing the right thing, you kind of don't. <laughs> and the no counterplay argument, I like yeah. that. It's like, well, as long as I'm better than you, you don't do it, you just lose. And I'm like, all right, cool, thanks. Yeah. yeah <laughs> it's, you, it's helpful. You can't beat me, I'm just so sick. <laughs> yeah. What was that trick? What might have been, uh, might have been going for a command grab. I don't think he runs the command grab, though. Huh. Uh, I'm not too sure, but Orcs is slowly but surely bringing this back and is about to actually take the lead here. Oh, he's got the recovery. He's good. He's good. That's oh, oh. He read, he, that was the literally the same exact ledge interaction as before, um, but this time Spark wasn't in position to get the up smash. Up the shield. <laughs> what a confident up the shield. Crazy man. Also shocked that that move didn't kill. I don't know if there's just like a sweet spot at the very top. I was about to say I don't think he has a kill I throw. I didn't think so. you know fourth throw it could do it though. <laughs> it could do it. That is one thing that this character really does struggle with. Um, if you don't connect to your... You can combo into kills at like 40, which is unreasonable. Mm -hmm. um, but if you don't, you're not going to kill until like 180. Yeah. You have to like spam back air and hope. And it's not even that strong. Yeah. Like back air here, I'm not convinced would solidly kill. And this, is, I guess, gets to the point where like if you're fighting the neutral monsters, uh, the neutral yeah. monsters get hit every once in a while in neutral. Yeah. Uh, and this is like... Getting straight hits in neutral when they're not killing is the worst feeling. The worst feeling. Because you're just giving them rage and peach with rage. Gross. I love the extensions. Oh, wow. Up, up angled forward tilt. Ooh. Okay. And Diet straight in on that up air. Or up, up throw actually made it kind of hard to follow. Uh, great combo game. Great punish game. Every time he seems to get a hit here. Oh, Ooh, goes for it all. really chase the drift back. But Oryx doing a good job of just mixing it up. He's not just holding away from Spark. He's getting away from Spark. You know? I, I really feel like the, the switch to this character, even though he's making some ballsy reads now, right now with these upbeats, mm -hmm. I think he's doing a really good job of just like, ever since he lost that like that crazy speed that Rory has, he's been playing so much more patient and almost kind of like forcing Oryx to like kind of go in and on, go in and on him. He's kind of jumped. He's yeah, he's super dead. I was just talking to you, man. That feels unfair. Yeah. That four throw. But here uh, comes the shot puts. Oh. Normally, I feel like that would work, but like against a character like Peach, you can just like go back and forth and like she recovers other stage pretty well. It doesn't seem to be doing too much. There we go. That's not gonna kill yet. No rage. 155. That does not kill. Yeah, like I said, this character, um, especially with that Stitch face, that just did. Oh, sick. So much. What damage. a cool combo. <laughs> that was, yeah, it's a good combo. Um, we. Oh. What is happening? Oh. I, I really expected that forward air to poke, but it just completely whipped. Yeah. What? The back air not connecting, uh, which uh, technically saved technically both of them. them. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Dashing into the side special. Rough times. Why is Peach living to 162? Why is this woman still alive? Beca because it's it's me, Brawler. It, Don't make me say the famous coldest words. Don't make me say this famous coldest words. Because that looked... Man, my man looks like he might need some love. I'm talking about some like <laughs> his mom needs to cook him some food, oh, man. He is no. uh, he is crying in bed right now. He is just well, doing terrible. That is ooh. See the 160 on beach? 160 on beach? It's rough. It's not look. Oh. When when no. When it when <laughs> when me brawler finally connects one of those early kills, you'll get it. You'll understand. You'll have to see it to get it. But like legitimately, you combo one of your kills at like 40, or you have Marthritis. It's literally, it's literally melee mark. You do, you don't combo one of your kills at 40, and then your opponent lives until 180, and you just have to outplay them significantly. Yeah, and nobody, and I repeat, nobody in DFW likes to have to outplay Orcs. No, Th this is the one player that I would say you are not going to win that. No matter who you are in DFW, you're not going to win that battle. Best of five versus Orcs are just irritating. Like, yeah. Granite Lima, you know, gave him the hot 3 0, but, like, even still, that is not fun. I'd still put money on Oryx in the best of five. Yeah. It, like, down three, I'd put money on Oryx in the best of five. I'm like, oh, yeah, he's just about to just tilt the heck out of him. He's never going to touch him for, like, his last thought. Yeah. The set's going to go for, like, you know, 30 minutes. And we've already seen uh, Oryx get up to that 80%. Unless we see a combo here, and it didn't kill. Oh, oh but he didn't get the chase. He risked it. He risked it. He he risked, and that's a risk I'll take. Yeah. Right? I mean, to be honest with you, he's, he has been looking for that multiple times. But hey, you got a one time, it paid out. That's all you kind of really need. Exactly. 
now we could see one of those nasty stocks. If he got a reset there, maybe he could up here, up here forward smash. Okay, this is gonna become the frustrating part where if you don't kill Oryx at this point and you already got 38%, that's one beat combo away from him just taking the lead dramatically. True. You gotta get some percent here. And that's gonna be fourth throw, not gonna kill or anything, but he's got turn up. Oh, wow. Weak back here. Thankful to uh, Spark, I'm Spark sure. Pulling out that kind of attack again, punishes that uh, it was potential float, float bear setup. But and I never realized how good of an idea get up attack was until like you brought it up and I've been seeing Spark like almost every time put, putting in the right scenario. He has not been punished at all. Specifically against Float, it's really good because yeah. they're hovering over there, they're not gonna have access to shield, which is the main way to really punish and blow up get up attack. You're fully invincible. You're gonna beat any aerial that they're gonna try to throw out. Man, goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. The, all these high fives to the face are just not going to do him any wonders. And another high five oh, to the face. He um, he got off on the ledge and then immediately tried to pick something because he didn't want to mess around with any more turnip stuff. And Oryx kind of felt that that tick and was like, you're going to go, so I'm going to swing. I like that it's the far recovery. Because at this point, he's not going to get messed with. Smart. What a wait there, too, by the way. What the amount of patience to be like, oh yeah, you're about to drop shield right now and get that successful dash attack? That was actually ridiculous. I think so. You you definitely pointed out between games, um, Spark has done a great job of slowing it down. Uh, I think in neutral for sure. At the ledge, I feel like Spark is still playing on beat one every time, and that is the beat both offensively and defensively. He's throwing out the back air at the same exact time that keeps getting punished. In, as, as I was saying, um, at the exact time, uh, exact same timing, where either he's getting get up attacked or Oryx is just waiting until after it comes out, and also conversely, while he's on the ledge, he gets up with the same timing that Oryx is ready to punish. Okay, this is this feels frustrating. Oryx is doing everything right right now, and like even if like okay, all right, he, get, he gets the kill here. This is going to be like you have the hope to get that that horrible me uh, combo to just like kill him at like 20%. It's not impossible. He has not. <laughs> the fact that Oryx is at low percent is probably better for Spark right now than if he were at high percent. But again, immediately jumps off the ledge. Mm. As soon as he grabbed it, he jumped off. And then Oryx was immediately ready because jump was last last ledge interaction. Mm -hmm. When uh, Spark jumped over and was able to get the back air to take the stock. It's the last le that ledge interaction I remember. He jumped off and was able to get off. So he's like, okay, if this is how I got away last time, I'm gonna try it again. Oryx immediately had already adjusted and said, well, now, come, now comes the forward air.